Talk about batting out of order. I could go on for half an hour about batting out of order with various scenarios. The most important thing for fans and coaches and particularly scorekeepers to remember uh, is really the time frame for discovery for appealing batting out of order. Uh, if you do have a batter who's batting out of order, it is the head coach's responsibility to appeal that to the umpire by simply calling time and bring it to the umpire's attention. Uh, it's really important when this happens though as to whether there is a penalty for batting out of order or not. If the player who is batted out of order is still at bat, understand there will not be a penalty other than that batter shall be removed and replaced with the proper batter who shall assume the ball and strike count and continue the at bat. In order to get a penalty for a player who is batted out of order, you must wait until that player completes his or her turn at bat. Once that turn at bat is completed, if the appeal is made before the next pitch, play, or attempted play, and that runner has reached base safely, at this point, the player who shall be called out is not the player who is batting out of turn, but the player who should have been up. That player will be called out, and the next batter shall be the player whose name follows uh, that of the uh, batter who was just called out. This allows the batting order to be put back correctly and the game to proceed without further incident.